Good evening, welcome to my laboratory and Happy New Year. Here I'm going to demonstrate removing a, a large 28 pin, I think it's 28 pin, IC from a circuit board using desoldering braid, super wick kind, and a flux pin. So first, stretch out some of that desoldering braid and give it a coat on both sides with the flux from the flux pin like that and then get your soldering iron which is a little bit hotter than normally used for soldering the footprint of the IC from the back side of the board. And you got your soldering iron. And you start attacking the pins one by one with the hot iron and the desoldering braid. things a little bit better in the vise. And as you'll be able to see, the solder just wicks right up from the pin and it often leaves the hole quite free. See how that works? Oops, too close. The solder will flow towards the braid and the hot iron. And you simply move along from pin to pin, going to a fresh area on the braid for each pin. Like that. Now, once you've done that to all the pins, it goes pretty fast once you have a hang of it. You can take a small screwdriver and try to move each pin. And this will tell you which pins are not yet freed up. And it will also break loose any residual sticking of the solder to the pins. Once you've got all the pins freed up, you should be able to just take the chip right off of there now with 
some gentle prying with a screwdriver. I still have one pin stuck, I think. Let's see which one it is. that one right there. Still a little bit of solder on that pin. So, get the braid again. And hit that pin. should be enough to free it up so that you can get the chip out. And there you have it. Now, now I've straightened up the pins with uh, some fine pliers and I've clamped the chip in my panel vise and you can see that there's some residual solder left on the pins. So take some braid, get some flux on it with the flux pen, and then just go over the pins with the solder braid. To remove that, those little bits of residual solder that are left on the pins that might interfere with putting it in a socket or getting your breadboard all glommed up. So, solder braid, flux pen, get the soldering iron a little bit hotter than you would for normal soldering. The solder will flow towards the hot, pen, the hot uh, iron pretty good. Let's see about the other side. And once again, And there you have it. A nice clean chip. Ready to be thrown away because I don't have any idea what to do with this chip. We're just doing it as a demonstration. Thank you for watching.